this is Ogre Boy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 1990 movie Misery. Um, this is one of my favorite Stephen King movies of all time. It's such a great movie. It's one of the first movies of his that I actually ever saw and everything. And I just absolutely love this movie, so I'll go ahead and get started. Um, the movie is directed by Rob Reiner and written by William Goldwyn. And this movie follows uh, book author Paul Sheldon, who is on his way back to New York after a after staying at a at a hotel or like cabin hotel that he stays at uh, when he's writing his books and stuff. And everything he's on his way back, he uh, and there's a blizzard. He crashes and everything. And uh, a lady named Annie Wilkes. Uh, takes him in and everything she claims to be his biggest fan and everything and uh, at first everything seems kind of like it's all right and everything with her she seems really nice and everything as the movie progresses we find out she's really deranged and uh, psychotic um, she uh, especially after she finds out that he killed her favorite character named Misery in the book series that he does and everything. I guess it was his way of ending that series and she like goes totally insane and everything and, and is keeping him held captive and uh, trying to make him bring the character back to life. She burns his other book, makes him burn his other book that he had just finished writing and everything. It's just and she goes like really crazy in this movie and uh, throughout the movie he's trying to figure out ways to escape and everything but he of course doesn't when she figures out he's been sneaking around the house and stuff she uh, 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 puts like this board between his legs and hobbles uh, and hobbles his feet it's like one of the most popular scenes in the movie and everything like it it's like a really it's really hard to watch and everything because you like the hearing the bones cracking and, and James Conn's performance in that scene is just absolutely amazing and everything and this movie really works because of the two in this movie uh, James Conn and Kathy Bates they they both are absolutely amazing in this movie especially Kathy Bates uh, this was the movie that really made her become a big star and everything and it easily still one of her best performances if not her best she just is absolutely amazing in this movie now, I've been a big fan of Kathy Bates for as long as I can remember and this is easily one of my favorite movies of hers and everything and plus I think she's really sexy too she's just one of the most gorgeous actresses out there uh, I've always had a huge crush on her but yeah she's just she's just absolutely gorgeous and everything, but I'm getting off topic here. Uh, the rest of this movie is really, really good. Um, the other cast members in this movie, Richard Farnsworth plays Buster, who's like the the uh, sheriff of the small town or whatever. He, he's really good in here. I really like the character and everything. I hate that he gets killed at the end, towards the end of the movie. He, I hated to see him die because I actually really liked him and like the way him and his wife, uh, Virginia, played by Frances Sternhagen, like go back and forth at each other and everything. It just has a realistic feel to it and they're, they're fun to watch together and everything. I hate that we have to see him get killed. Um, and Lauren Bacall plays Marsha, who is like the, the, uh, the one that helps him get Paul get his books published and stuff like that and everything and she's she's pretty good too she's the reason why uh, Buster is investigating trying to help find Paul Sheldon and everything but uh, I really really like this movie a lot it's such a great movie and everything all of the cast is wonderful um, Mark Shaman's score is really good too it has a it brings a sense of dread to this movie that that it really needs because I mean uh, Paul is like isolated from the world and everything and it, his score really helps with that it brings the brings the 
feel of dread and isolation and stuff. And it just really works perfectly for this movie. And uh, Barry Sonnenfeld's cinematography is really great too. Uh, I think he, the cinematography in this movie is beautiful, especially with the mountains and the snow and all that. I just thought that was done really well too and everything. And, uh, it's just is a, a, a great movie. Um, I and it's not exactly like the book and everything, but it is a pretty good adaptation of the book. Though they they got a lot of stuff right about the characters, especially Annie Wilkes and everything. Um, I I do think that this is a one of his best movies, though, and best adaptations and everything, and just such such a great movie. And everything so uh, I'd give Misery a 10 out of 10 because it's easily one of the best movies of all time and it's one of my favorite uh, S Stephen King movies of all time and uh, everything and I, I want to say thank you again to Desmond who I won the blu-ray copy of from him uh, I, I really am happy that I won that because I, I absolutely love this movie it's just total blast and everything and it's one of my favorite movies of all time I'm really happy to have this blu-ray and everything so thank you again to him and everything and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, let me know in the comments what you think of misery do you agree that it's one of Stephen King the best Stephen King adaptations and everything I, I really think it is and everything so let me know what you think about it and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and this one was for my day 18 of 31 days of 4 tomorrow, or, well, I guess later today, because it's after midnight, um, I'll be doing my review for American Werewolf in London for day 19, so y'all can look forward to that, and hope you enjoyed this video, and have a good day, everybody.